Trump and the MAGA Republicans said no, because they're afraid of Donald Trump. <laughs> afraid of Donald Trump. Every day between now and November, the American people are going to know that the only reason the border is not secure is Donald Trump and his MAGA Republican friends. So Joe Biden says that uh, Donald Trump is to blame for this bill not passing, but is Donald Trump to blame for the damn border being wide open? This, this ignoramus by the name of Joe Biden signed an executive order because somebody told him to, and all these illegals coming over point the finger at Joe Biden. These progressive and these liberals are something to behold. Joe Biden is still talking to dead people, by the way. Jackie, are you here? Now he's imagining that he's talked to people who's been dead for years now. And then there's Eric Adams. Mr. Mr. Eric Adams. Eric Adams was having some type of uh, get-together. And he was bragging about all of the chocolate. He said, look at all this chocolate. They need to see you. Deputy Mayor Williams Ison, Deputy Mayor Mira Josie, Deputy Mayor Amazar, Deputy Mayor Maria Torres Springer. Have you ever seen this much chocolate leading the city of New York? And then go down the line. Look, look who's here. This is representative of the city. That's why people are hating on me. You trying to figure out why they're hating on me? They're hating on me because those are, how many of you go to church? Ma'am, this is a Matthew 21 and 12 moment. Jesus walked in the temple. He saw them doing wrong in the temple. He did what? He turned the table Came over. over. I went to City Hall to turn the table over. First woman police commissioner of color. First Spanish-speaking police commissioner. First Spanish-speaking uh, uh, correction com com commissioner. Go through the line of what we What he doing. meant is that there was a bunch of minorities in his administration. Well, I got, I got a question for you, Mr. Eric Adams. All that chalk that you have in your administration, is it reducing the crime? Is it making the people who elected you is it making their lives better? Is the crime down? The crime is off the chart in New York. And this damn fool is bragging about skin color of the people he had in his damn administration. So I ask you, is all that chocolate doing the New Yorkers any good? Is the New York people more satisfied because you're giving a 53 million dollar pilot program to the damn elites. But one thing I can tell you about these progressives, these liberals, they're actually nothing but naked Marxists, if you ask me. Because they got to brag on things. And he said the reason they hate on him is because of all of this chocolate in his administration. No damn fool. The reason they hating on you is because you're destroying the damn city. You with the rest of these other progressive down there. And then you have Kathy Holcomb, another lunatic. Kathy Holcomb is doing her best to give away many, many jobs to illegals. That's the whole plan of progressive naked communists is what they are. They want to give away my, your money to illegal immigrants. And then you have Mr. Bulldog Face, Alvin Braggs, who let the illegals out of jail. He got so much flat. Now the grand jury has indicted these damn people. Probably going to give them probation or something. But Alvin Braggs now has had a press conference talking about he's arresting these uh, illegals who he let out of jail. have been charging that brutal attack caught on camera. A shocking act of violence. Two NYPD officers beaten in Times Square. All of those arrested were released without bail. Why did these four individuals be released on their own recognizance? The Biden administration is fighting to release as many migrants as quickly as possible. I'll reverse 
Trump's detrimental asylum policy. Continue. I like to stop to thank some people. I got this lovely uh, card from Hope in Christ. Her and her husband moved from uh, Arizona down to Texas, and uh, she sent me this lovely card. Uh, uh, God bless you, Tina and uh, Steve, who sent us this lovely card with a donation of twenty dollars in it. I appreciate that. And it's, it's a beautiful card. Uh, Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. That's from Numbers. That's, that's, that's beautiful. But she, was, she told a little story in there about how her and her husband moved to Texas and how her mother was originally uh, moved here and learned the language. Her mother was from Mexico originally. Uh, moved here and learned the language. Did things the right way. And her mother and father also raised six kids. Well, God bless you, Hope in Christ. Uh, to Tina and Steve, God bless you. And thank you for that uh, donation. Thank you for that lovely card, too. I haven't had a handwritten card in a long time. That is beautiful. Also, I'd like to thank um, Carthagen. Uh also gave us $5 out of Dallas, Texas. Carthagenin. Um, Gave us five dollars. God bless you, Jacqueline Russell out of California. Gave us twenty dollars. God bless you, Jacqueline. Stacy Pace gave us ten dollars also, and Maria Livesay gave us thirty dollars. God bless you, Lawrence Roberts gave us ten dollars. Says fry their asses, Uncle. Keep exposing the Dems and the Rhinos. God bless you, Lawrence. And James Kelly gave us $10. God bless you guys, and thank you for those contributions. I would be remiss if I did not thank my man, Patrick J. McCarran, who gave us $100 on our PayPal. God bless you, Brother Patrick, and be careful with those snakes, because they may try to get you unless you're fast as a cat. Think about this. Think about how insulting this is. The so-called asylum seekers, they come to your country, and after they come to your country, they're supposed to have been running from persecution in their country. Remember they told you that? They were running from persecution from their country. They get to your country, and when they get to your country, you know what they do? They assault your cops, but they're supposed to be afraid, little asylum seekers. And after they let them out of jail, the bastards are shooting the bird to the media because they don't have no fear. The drug cartel is getting rich off the lackadaisical border issues that the Biden administration is doing. And don't forget that Margus was supposed to be impeached, but the phony rhinos let Margus off the hook because they won't open borders too. The dirty little secret is that many of the Republicans won't open borders just like the damn Democrats do. And now they're pretending as if they want to get tough on the borders. Your government hates you. Because one thing I've learned about these progressives and these uh, so-called uh, liberals, which is nothing but communists, is that the only thing they really talk about when they go to their get-togethers or when they have press conference is they talk about skin color. See, that's what Eric Adams want to talk about, skin color. Stand up. They need to see you. Deputy Mayor Williams Ison, Deputy Mayor Mira Josie, Deputy Mayor Amazar, Deputy Mayor Maria Torres Springer. Have you ever seen this much chocolate leading the city of New York? You remember we did a video with uh, Brendan Johnson down there and he was talking about he had a black wife and three black children. I have children who attend schools who have soccer games, y'all. Yes, you know, you all are asking me as if I'm not a parent in this city. I get it. I'm mayor. I get it. Yeah. But you're asking me to give you a date. And I have to court. Do you understand that you have not had a mayor like me? I get that. I have a wife. I have children. They have schedules. And plus... We still have public safety that we have to address. We still have the unhoused that we have to address. I still have a budget that I have to address. And I'm doing all of that with a black wife raising three black children on the west side of the city of Chicago. I am going to the border as soon as Hey, we knew that when you were elected, damn fool. Why are you telling us that? I mean, you're stating the obvious. 
Of course we know your skin color because that's the only thing they can run on is the damn skin color. And the white liberals, when they talk about some, all they talk about is, oh, we need to do something for minorities. I feel so guilty. But they're not going to give up their crap. If you feel so damn guilty, move out your house and let an illegal or, my, or a minority move in your damn house then. Quit the fake outrage. The fake, oh, we feel so bad for you. We feel so bad for the poor little mi minorities. It's such a shame. But they don't give up their own damn money. You remember when Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer, all these good liberals, ooh, they was taking the knee. Oh, we're taking the knee in solidarity for George Floyd, the back to Africa crowd. They was feeling so remorseful. But you know what Nancy Pelosi says in private? She said, I want these niggas around me. I'm just doing this to make them feel good. Eric Adams is such a damn fraud. Brandon Johnson is a fraud. And then you had, let's not forget that James Claiborne, that field head from South Carolina, was telling you how much he appreciate Joe Biden. Any damn fool can see that his mind is gone. He don't even know Jill is his wife. That's how far he's gone. And, and, and Joan, Shengang, I'm going to pass by, Shanga, Co Co and Joan, Shengang, I'm going to pass by, Shanga, Co Cool. But don't stop these progressives for having their pity parties talking about their skin color. Look at all this chocolate. Have a Hershey's kissing, Negro. Eat all the Hershey kisses you want. And stop telling me about your damn skin color. If you're white, you had nothing to do with it. If you're black, you're Latina, Asian, you mixed with 50 different flavors. You had nothing to do with it. Do your damn job. But they can't do their job. That's why they always talk about skin color. Because they ain't capable of doing their damn job. This is all they have. Identity politics. Ooh, we feel so bad. Oh, we're so grateful. Because we have all of these uh, minorities. I don't give a damn if you're green. You can be the Incredible Hulk. If you can do your damn job, I want to hire the Incredible Hulk to do his damn job. But quit telling me about your skin color. Because all that proves to me is that you can't do your damn job and you're deflecting on doing your damn job. I don't want to hear it no damn more.